Hello. Hi, Seer. Slay the Spire. It's been a while, just gotta remember who I'm supposed to play as next. Okay, so Ironclad and then Silent. Following my usual pattern. Might be a good way to get back into things after... I don't know how long it's been. Uh, but of course, the four job fiesta and also how much Terraria I've been playing has led to not very much Slay the Spire. Alright. So here's our boss. That guy. Guardian, I think is his name. Just thinking about my path. I think I'll probably hit up this, probably fight that elite. Probably this way, especially if I uh, choose to lose all gold to remove two cards, which I'm thinking about heavily. I mean, that is discounted, even slightly compared to having Smiling Mask. Plus it doesn't scale the cost of card removal. Early on, though, too much of the deck might be a Sender's Bane. <laughs> I guess once your deck shuffles once, it's fine. Um, the common relic is usually a good choice, too, though. That out card? I'm just worried I won't have enough attacks if I remove two strikes, and I don't really like removing defense that much. Unless I get some really good defensive cards, and a lot of them. Yeah, I'll just take the common relic. The boot! Okay. Maybe I should have removed two cards. Alright. Yeah. Using a third one, just in case I'm really bad at math and 10 is actually less than 10. Let's see, due to the boot, two strikes is a kill here. And then I can still bash, or not bash, uh, strike that guy with my remaining. Alright. Well, I think this is the part where I hit him. Alright. Heart of Iron, six metallicize. Ooh. This arm could be really good against this boss. It's just really good in general. Um, but also against this boss that's coming up. Shockwave is a solid card under all circumstances. Sword Boomerang is good with strength, but we don't have strength, and it's a common card. Just gonna drop the cap on my drink. Okay. Drink is secured again. Took a sip while thinking, and it's gonna be disarm. Hmm. He gains strength per turn, so disarm is actually not that exciting here. Let's just hit him more. Alright. Would I rather defend bash or bash strike? Or defend strike strike? Let's see, if I double strike, he'll be left with 24 hit points. If I bash, he'll have 28 and vulnerable. Do I think vulnerable deals four damage? Yes. I think I'll play the defend though. All right. Uh, bash strike isn't a kill, but the enemy is only ever gonna attack. Uh, three strikes? No, that would have still been short. No matter what play I made last turn, if I'd drawn three strikes this turn, I wouldn't have a kill. Um, Let's see, if I just strike, that leaves him with 19. We won't have a kill next round. If I just bash, 
If we draw two strikes next turn, we have him. We're guaranteed to draw two strikes next turn, so we should play a defend. Alright. And our health didn't change. Italicize would be a second defensive card. Evolve... It wouldn't be a counter pick against the upcoming boss, but it is a solid card. a couple more chances to get attacks before our first elite. I'm gonna go Metallicize. I guess I could have hit up the shop, and then there would have definitely been an attack in the shop. Alright, this is enough defense. Strike the one with the bigger curl up, I guess. Okay. Thanks to the boot, nothing actually changed. Excellent. We would have had him even if we were dealing 4 damage per hit. Oh, I should have actually considered Shield Boomerang's interaction with the boot. It would have done 15 instead of 9. My mistake. Didn't consider my relics. Second disarm? Hemokinesis because I really need an attack? I think it's gotta be Hemokinesis. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Because of that enemy splits, disarming them is a little less good than it otherwise would be. Uh, the strength down will disappear after the halfway mark through the fight. They'll just play Metallicize Bash. It's fine, though. We're getting all the encounters where... Um... Disarm is bad out of the way right at the start of the game, right? Let's see. So this will deal six. He splits at 35. If we strike him twice, he doesn't even split. Let's defend and singly strike. I could split him here, but I think I'd rather get a better split. I'll just take zero and hit him next turn. Oh yeah, three strikes right when he's going for an 18 attack and we're not even weak. I think if I had drawn like all defense, I might have actually used the swiftness potion. Okay, Hemokinesis plus Bash would be a kill. That does immediately result in me taking less damage than if I play the Disarm. Even with the health cost. Turns out 3 plus 2 is less than 8. Okay, here if I double defend I take nothing. Now, I don't even have to check whether I'm weakened because of the boot. I knew that 3 times 5 was more than his health. Well, I could get the shield boomerang now. Clothesline is solid. Um, it would provide an attack that deals at least 10 in a single hit. Oh wait, Hemokinesis already does that. I was just thinking there's one early event where if you can deal at least 10 damage and not with a starter card or something, then something happens. I think you can like smash something to get money. Potions. Liquid Memories might be better than a Swift Potion. I think I value this over the Speed Potion. Do I value Liquid Memories over the Speed Potion? Uh, 
I don't have any, or I don't have many things that cost more than one to really take advantage of the cost reduction of liquid memories, but I think I'll get some, probably. Alright, this is definitely a smith. That gets an extra hit, so that's an extra five damage. Oh, the HP loss goes down. I think this is worth it, but I'll probably upgrade Shield Boomerang soon. Okay, this guy. We'd like to get our disarm down before he wakes up. Uh, do I just play Shield Boomerang Strike? Third hit of the boomerang because of the boot will... Oh, wait, no. Yeah. The boot won't apply while he's got block. But the first two hits take his block down to two, and then the last hit will actually deal five damage. And then I play strike second. Uh, I think we can get a better wake up than dealing 11 damage. Is that true? Uh, if I draw a bash next turn, it is. Oh, I also want to get Metallicize down before he wakes up. Ah, Bash Metallicize would have been perfect. I think going for it was correct, though. Let's see, because of Vulnerable... Yeah. That was the correct attack to play first. Alright, definitely playing Sword Boomerang. Uh, the boot will also help protect us from his strength down. Sword Boomerang will continue to deal 15 until it deals 0. Well, I'm definitely playing a defend. I think I defend again here. I know you often want to take Log of Woolen fast, but I think... Yeah, we're forced to play this turn pretty aggressively anyway. Let's see. Bash Sword Boomerang doesn't actually deal any more damage than... Sword Boomerang Bash. So yeah, we got him. So we were right to play one extra defend on that one turn, because it didn't delay us killing him at all. Ooh. Charon's Ashes early. Let's see, Ancient Potion. Given the boss, I don't think Ancient Potion is better. Is there any Act 1 boss where I would prefer Ancient Potion over one of those? Um... No. Hmm. I think Hemokinesis is kind of doing what we would want Carnage to do. I want Uppercut. I want a way to apply weak. Um. Oh man, extending that is probably worth more than upgrading that. I still want that extra hit. I think we can go towards another elite. That guy. Well. Yeah, upgraded uppercut is strictly better than bash. Unless for some reason you want to take damage? Or want to deal less? I mean... Let's see. Uh, do I just go? Or not? Nah, yeah. I don't think we bother with Metallicize. Pow. Ouch. Ugh. Uh, I could Liquid Memories to get the kill this turn. I think I will. I, I just want to have my Potion slot empty. Blessing of the Forge. Oh yeah, and we have question card. Dark Embrace 
could eventually have synergy with Caron's Ashes. Um, see, none of these cards say Exhaust on them. We don't have a source of strength gain. Power through would be a good defensive pick. Disarm Metallicize are like scaling defense, but we don't have burst defense. Alternatively, Wild Strike is Wild Strike. I think we're good on offense for now. I will take power through, though. Kind of wish I took the Evolve earlier, but I'm sure whatever I took was something I'm willing to stand by. Alright. Yeah, let's just delete that guy. Uh, power through is full block, and we want to start hitting the wizard. Definitely don't want to start hitting that guy. Um, maybe I risk a sword boomerang, though. We'll see what happens. Ah, excellent. Streamer luck. That's what happened. I don't think the fight's gonna go on long enough for the disarm to be better. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Ascender's Bane. Alright. This guy isn't really threatening until we start hitting him. Oh yeah, that exhausts. I feel like there should be no reason to take damage the rest of the fight. Oh yeah, we got him. Inflame isn't actually that exciting with Sword Boomerang yet. Oh, I think this is Shrug versus Flame Barrier. Oh boy. I mean, Flame Barrier has obvious utility against the multi-hit boss that's coming up. We also don't have a real source of AoE damage. So we might want to go with a fake source of AoE damage. But Shrug It Off is in fact Shrug It Off. I don't think I have to say much more than that. I'll take Flame Barrier but I'm not confident it was the correct thing to do. All right, let's finally upgrade Sword Boomerang. Have I only upgraded things that deal damage? Yes, but Uppercut is sort of like a defensive upgrade because of the extra turn of weak. Trigger a trap. Let's see, it's... What's it gonna be? It's gonna be like... 20 damage, 8 max HP, or 1 wound card or something? No, it's not a wound card, it's a injury. They don't put status cards in your deck from events, only curses. I mean, maybe I don't need the Golden Idol, but it does make one other event in the game way better if you can exchange it for the Bloody Idol instead of whatever the other choices are. They're both bad. Besides having the Golden Idol, I remember the other event makes you wish that it just had a skip option. But a thing about not playing in a month or two is I don't remember exactly what the other event is. Let's, let's take this. Oh, six max HP. Can we beat the Guardian and the next encounter with 27 health plus six after the encounter? I guess I could rest here if this encounter goes poorly. Unless it goes so poorly I die. But I think I can afford the 20 damage. All right, this guy. I forget if he scales fast enough that I need to be concerned about hitting him a lot. 
I think instead of Defend Strike Strike, I'm gonna take this route, which does two less damage, in order to take three less damage. Uppercut's definitely gonna be valuable. Do I defend here, or do I... Hemokinesis is a little less exciting while I'm weak. Okay, he's still attacking. That's pretty rude. Bash power through seems good. I might be able to kill him next turn. Yeah, got him. So I think playing that as defensively as I could was good. Ooh, flex Potion with Sword Boomerang could be nice. I think that's worth more to me than a temporary upgrade. Burning Pact sounds a little fun with Karen's Ashes. And it would be our first source of card draw. Armaments is always a fun card, but I think it's going to be Burning Pact. And we're smithing here. I think specifically before this boss, upgrading Disarm might be the strongest. I know, upgrading Flame Barrier might also be good. I'll go Disarm. Pretty sure he has a lot of multi-hits. Alright, we want to deal a lot of damage early on. Oh! I didn't actually realize we were doing enough to phase shift him, because I didn't even, like, try the math, because turn one you normally don't phase shift. Alright. I'll just flame barrier. Where are my disarm and metallicize? Alright, there's Disarm, there's Metallicize, Defend is full block, and that was a great setup turn. Okay, now he's not doing anything, so we hit him. 33. Let's see, can we deal the necessary 34? That's 19. That's 20. This could be 27 instead of using Uppercut. Or, yeah, instead of using Sword Boomer. But, I don't... I feel like we don't have to Hemokinesis. <laughs> I guess Strike Sword Boomerang Hemokinesis would have been the most damage I could have done. Alright, booted him. enough block that I can hit him. Let's see, power through would let me uppercut without taking damage. Do I want the wounds, though? Uh, I think I'm more okay with the wounds than taking two damage by just playing defend and nothing else. Fight's more than half over, anyway. Well, actually, wait, it's exactly half over. Although my setup cards are done, and you could kind of round that up or something. Alright, if I play no defensive card, I'll take one. I could use my Heart of Iron. I could also Flex Potion and just immediately roll him over, I think. Because this would be 8, plus Vulnerable is 12 per hit. And then I just play, I guess, Bash. Nope, maybe I'll play two strikes? No, because he rolls and gets a bunch of blocks, so Bash is gonna be just definitely better. Alright. Defend, defend, strike is kind of an obvious play. Flame Barrier also lets me play nothing. I can Burning Pack the Wound. He 
he's not spiky right now. And this just kills. Alright, solid fight. I think I took two damage. Oh yeah, and we have that golden idol. Hmm. Act 1, boss feed versus impervious versus bludgeon. I don't think I want brutality. Maybe I do. Let's see. Feed and impervious both exhaust, although feed wants to be saved for the end of the battle. I think if I hadn't taken... Uh, power through and flame barrier. I might be a little more interested in impervious, but here I'll go feed. Hmm. Velvet choker, tiny house, black blood. So our only option for energy is velvet choker. I think we could easily go velvet choker this run. We don't have anything that currently would screw us up. Because even with four energy, there's just not any way for us to play six cards with this deck. And we can just be mindful of it in our future choices. I'd be a little more worry wary of it if we had, like, Havoc or something. Alright. Hmm. I'm mildly spooked of this two elites in a row. Eh, let's upgrade that to moderately spooked. But I do like the rest of the stuff about the far left path. Maybe this is just the act two where we fight no elites. Because I could just go this way and still get four campfires. And I really like upgrading cards. And we get a shop. We do want a shop. We got 450 gold. Just looking, is there any other way to get four campfires and one elite? Oh, let's see. Nah, no, not even if I'm willing to fight the burning elite. Because getting this campfire avoids this elite. Oh wait, there's an elite here. So what about... Let's see, one, two, or one, two... Three, Elite, four. Yeah, okay. And... Going through here lets us still get a shop. And i probably go this way to get more question marks. Elite will be after the chest, which is nice. Okay, these guys... I think I just used the Heart of Iron. <laughs> Disarm the one I'm going to kill second? Oh man, which order are you supposed to kill these? One of them retreats one turn earlier. I don't know, I'm just gonna disarm the one on the right. Bash defend versus strike. Is Hemokinesis feed a kill? I think it is. 27, 15, yeah. So that's nice. Let's see, defend would be full block. Oh wait, I have the energy to play both. Just, just do it. No thinking. All right, uppercut strike probably. Yeah, there's, like, no reason to play any other card here. I guess I could Burning Pact before I play Strike, see what I draw, and also deal 3 damage. Yeah, no reason to play Metallicize. He's about to retreat. Ah, didn't draw enough attacks. Oh, wait, I Burning Pact is here again. Got him. Armaments plus 
versus an actual AoE card. I don't think I need Clothesline anymore with Uppercut Plus. Uh, Reckless Charge is a little interesting with the Ashes, because the Dazed will deal 3 damage to all enemies. It would be more interesting if I had Evolve, of course. I think I gotta go Whirlwind Plus. Alright, a shop. Oh yeah, card removal with the Smiling Mask. Let's at least look at our other options. I probably don't respect Orrery enough, but I'm definitely not picking it here. Uh, Flash of Steel would be fun if I had taken the... Um, Strength gain card we saw once in flame. We might run into more. Let's see. I guess one thing to keep in mind is Flash of Steel could be bad with Velvet Choker if we pick up another zero cost or another energy relic or something. I guess it would have to be two more. Yeah, Flash of Steel is probably fine. Just would be disappointing if our third boss is Timekeeper, I guess. Feel No Pain could be good if we can get more into Exhausting. See, how many of our cards say exhaust on them right now? Three? Let's remove a strike. Let's get these scales that I probably overvalue. Hmm. Warcry also has me looking at Velvet Choker a bit, but... I'm thinking of picking up both Feel No Pain and Warcry. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. We just removed a strike, so this is slightly less exciting. We don't have Molten Egg, so there will be normal bites, not upgraded bites. 25 max HP, huh? We're already missing 15 HP, so our current HP only goes down 10. Let's see, against the boss... Uh, they kind of need to be ready for big hits. Uh, feed could let us expand our max HP again, come to think of it. We're not losing too much of the feed HP we've gained already. We've only gotten one feed off. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Jaxed, special relic, transform two cards. Well, I just transformed my strikes, so I don't have strikes to transform. Funny how that works. Jax. Jax is kind of funny with bites. Could do a life loss, life gain sort of thing. See, my only multi-hit so far is Sword Boomerang, but it is plus. Whirlwind doesn't really count as multi-hit, because it's one hit per one energy. Um. Let's see, with two zero-cost cards, I could st I'd still be guaranteed to not activate the Choker if I get Jaxed. I think I will get Jaxed. I normally go mutagens or transform, most often transform, but Jax might have been correct here. Oh, remove a card. Um, is five bites too many bites? 
Is it time to remove a defend, actually? I think it's time to remove a defend. I think if I hadn't gotten to feel no pain, I would leave the defend in. What's Jax plus? Three strength. I think because I removed the defend, I want to upgrade something defensive. I think Metallicize is going to be the most reliable for now. Okay. Flame Barrier is full block. I really want a sword boomerang after knocking off his armor though, just get a lot of plated armor gone. So I'm thinking of like uppercut sword boomerang defend. Because of weakness, we won't even take much damage. Yeah, taking four to knock off four plated armor and deal a bunch of damage. Pain War Cry is a little block. Metallicize, defend, fight. The boot really doing a lot of damage in this battle. Hmm. Let's see, Ascender's Bane is going to give us another three block. Metallicize gives four, so we're gonna have ten block. But I don't want to play the feed this turn. We might actually get to eat him. Ooh, that's some damage you're dealing. Oh, and I am frail. Bash, Whirlwind, and do I Jax? I don't think I need Jax this battle. Because I can play this as a zero cost, not that it does anything. Okay. Let's see, if I Sword Boomerang now, he'll be left at a very feedable sort of range of health. Oh right, if I exhaust another card, our enemy dies. Oh! I forgot bronze scales. Well, we didn't take extra damage trying to set up the feed. True Grit is excellent with the rest of our deck. We'll want to get it upgraded right away, though. Really not regretting getting rid of that defend now. Molten Egg. Slightly later than you like to see it, but we'll probably add like six more cards. Maybe some of them will be attacks. Alright, well. The beginning of the fight is a good time to jax. Oh, I should have played Feel No Pain first. I guess it doesn't matter. Still have full block. Almost still have full HP despite playing a Jax. Alright. Uppercut. Um. Let's see. Sword Boomerang is gonna give more block due to Malleable than just playing Hemokinesis, but they're otherwise the same damage. So I think I'm gonna just play Bite first. The boot will make the first hit still full value, so Sword Boomerang actually does more than Hemokinesis here. Go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Our, uh, whatever we had that made us get upgraded cards. Molten Egg. 
Uh, second uppercut plus? I know I turned down a unupgraded whatever it is that gives two weakness because we already had upper, uppercut plus. Let's see, drop kick would make me slightly nervous about the Velvet Choker. And it's always like a little underperforming compared to what you think it'll do, I feel like. Uh, second Burning Pact? Maybe. That Sword Boomerang Plus, though. It's kind of hard to turn down 1 energy, 20 damage. More if we play Jax twice. Or once if I upgrade it. Alright. Now might be the time to get even more scaling defense, though. Prepare for the boss a bit. Alright. Well, no reason to play Flame Barrier or Defend, so we're playing the rest of the hand. Okay. Let's see. True Grit. Let's see, I think I can set up the feed on this guy. Let's see, 18... 10, I need to deal 5 more damage. Oh, so I need to actually play the Bite instead of the True Grit. I think this is worth it, though. Oh, I can... wait. Energy math is hard. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't thinking about energy. I was thinking if I played True Grit, I didn't want to play Ascenders, or didn't want to exhaust Ascenders Bane with it, so I could get an extra exhaust and activate my stuff again. But, uh, it was the correct thing to exhaust. I just didn't realize it. Okay, Mattel, or Warcry will activate my exhaust synergies. I think we'll frail, I don't want to play a normal block. Metallicize actually blocks for more, amusingly enough. Uppercut's gonna knock off more of the artifacts and also deal more damage than Bash. Disarm will currently do nothing. Wait, I think I might have a kill? No, not quite. But I think I just play all the cards that aren't Disarm still. Oh, Disarm would have given me an Exhaust, though, which would have been 4 block. Let's see... Can I draw any Bites? Yes. Whirlwind, I think, was gonna have the kill either way, even with 3 energy. Second Feel No Pain? Battle Trance. Battle Trance. Can't wish Jack's exhausted. I think I gotta go Shockwave? No, I don't think that's true. I think I gotta go Battle Trance. When do you see Battle Trance and picking it's wrong? Well, if you already have like two Battle Trances. See, right now, Caron's Ashes is our only exhaust synergy. I could power through True Grit, Bite, Bite. Alternatively, Flame Barrier, Bite, Bite. The Flame Barrier, Bite, Bite plan deals more damage. Although less damage to the Cultist. So there could have been merit in the other line. Uh, let's see, this deals not quite enough. I might still just play it. Oh, and then I could liquid memories a bite if I want. Uh, 
Do I liquid memories to prevent six damage and also gain a little more tempo than I have? Nah. Because we might heal the six anyway if the rest of the fight goes well enough. Okay, if I exhaust anything... He dies to the exhaust. I think I'd rather hit with the feed, though. Okay, we don't have Feel No Pain down yet. We are hexed. Although, like, we're pretty cool with hex. I think I'll just play the rest of the hand here. Wait, is Uppercut Sword Boomerang a kill? Maybe if I Jax? Let's see, Uppercut Sword Boomerang on its own. The Uppercut doesn't actually help the Sword Boomerang, so we're five damage short. Yeah, I'll, I'll Jax for it. Because otherwise we take way more damage than the Jax deals to us. Alright, only missing five health, so I think using a potion to prevent six damage would have been silly. Sever Soul. Uh huh. We do have a couple exhaust synergies. It's kind of expensive for what it does, though. I think I'm just saying that because my sword boomerangs deal 20 damage. <laughs> but this is 22 target damage, which can be way better than 20 random damage. How's my defensive options to offensive options balance looking? I think it's heavily tilted towards offense, but bites are sorta defensive. Sever Soul would tilt things even more offensive, but that might be fine. Alternative is probably skip. I know, a Thunderclap Plus might have sufficient merit. Especially with the upcoming boss. I think I need another AoE card. Ah, Book of Stabbing. I think we definitely Jax here. We play the Disarm. Burning Pack to try to get a better defensive card than Defend. Flame Barrier is in fact better than Defend. Do I want to draw even more to try to get like a power throw? Not really. Uh, I mean, it might avoid a wound. Actually, would it? I think I'd still be one block short. I'd need to get, like, both True Grit and Power Through, or something. Eh, I mean, it's free. Okay, just playing Flame Barrier. Alright. Looking over my options. I'm definitely taking two hits here. <laughs> There's just no defensive card. Oh wait, no. Metallicize blocks a hit fully. I was thinking it was three, but I upgraded it. Feel no pain might pay off over the course of the battle. Uh, because we disarm plus him, I don't feel the need to rush the fight as much as I normally would against Book of Stabbing. Uh, let's see, since we can play the rest of the cards, I'm just gonna exhaust the Defender's Bane early. I should have been in a little more of a hurry. I guess this is just six damage. Let's see, power through is full block. I guess, yeah, I was thinking about hemokinesis earlier, is the reason why. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we would have killed him a turn earlier with a hemokinesis earlier. 
pair is nice. Clothesline plus. Cleave plus. Now that the deck's a bit bigger, one uppercut isn't enough to keep a status on someone. Although, we do have Battle Trance and Burning Pact, so we do at least get back to it a little faster. And like, I think I'm still in an AoE shortage. Let's see, we gotta scale more. I am definitely concerned about this fight. I'm just gonna play the feed. I don't want to have a card I'm avoiding. And you can't feed on these guys, they're minions. Alright, Whirlwind Plus isn't quite a kill on anything here. I was hoping to draw Jax. Uh... Wait, with that exhaust... Cleave plus plus whirlwind for three. How much does that deal? Um, 24 plus 11 is not enough. Uh, I could throw a fear potion or to get, get a kill on one of these. I could also liquid memories the cleave. But flame barrier, liquid memories, flame barrier might still just be my best option. Kind of wish I'd upgraded the flame barrier. Still take an 8, despite double Flame Barrier. I guess that's what happens when your Flame Barrier is unupgraded. Uh, now get rid of one bite. Let's see, I can kill both of these and still Metallicize, as long as I use Hemokinesis. Okay. Jax... Feel no pain, actually getting some stuff down. Weakening him there, right there was good. Extend the vulnerable versus deal more damage. I'm gonna deal more damage. I have a fear potion if I really wanna extend the vulnerable later. Okay. We've got a lot of statuses on us, we're playing all but one card in this hand. I think the card not played will be Defend. Because with that status on me, whatever it's called, Frail, uh, just stealing two health is almost as good as defending three. Okay, I'd like the enemy to be weak again. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, unless I want to throw the Fear Potion first. I don't think I do. We're still Frail. Uh, I'm gonna give up one damage in order to extend vulnerable. Alright, let's draw first. No need to play anything defensive here. I almost have him. Probably get the kill next turn. Damn. Oh, I should have used Bite on a minion first. Because you don't heal the fall at the end of battles in Ascension. Or, I mean, at the end of bosses, even. You just any number of cards in your hand. That's interesting. What would we want to double tap? Uppercut, possibly a Whirlwind, uh, possibly a Shield Boomerang, even though it's for one. Um, Bash. Uh, let's take Impervious. Alright. Philosopher's Stone, Busted Crown, Black Star. I think our deck's basically finished. So, Busted Crown is interesting. 
Uh, is it a consideration that we have question card? Not really. Um, I saw an analysis on this, and like, question card isn't a big reason to pick Busted Crown. Um, I think one energy is going to be stronger than one or two random normal relics. Or zero, if I avoid all the elites. Uh, Philosopher's Stone. Wish I could see who the next boss was. There are definitely bosses I would not want Philosopher's Stone against. Actually, like, all of them, come to think of it. All the Act 3 bosses have multi-attacks. Yeah. Although, like, the extra energy helps mitigate it, especially if it's just Donu and Deka, which it's a double strike all the time. Um... Yeah, Timekeeper, I think, has a lot of triple strike attacks in his AI. And then the Awakened One is 4x hits. Alright, I would like a Merchant. I still like Campfires. That hasn't changed. What a surprise. I see a path with a lot of campfires. It goes straight through this elite, but that's fine. And hits up a latish shop. And then possibly just events all the way to the boss after that. Uh, it doesn't matter which of these two I start at if I'm heading to this shop. That guy. Strength up three every turn. Okay, let's see. With five energy, I could actually overrun my card limit. If I play the jacks and then only things for one energy. I don't think I have enough one energy cards here though. For it to be an issue. See, am I playing the defend or just attacking aggressively? I'm attacking aggressively, in case that wasn't obvious. So we take two. But we possibly win the fight this turn. Play all the bites we can. Headbutt is interesting card manipulation. It will be added to the deck. Ah. I think I Am Awake would be terrible given Burning Blood, all our bites, the fact that we're really early in the act. 999 gold. Usually I pick I Am War. I have two shops coming up if I'm willing to fight the Burning Elite. <laughs> um, alternatively, I am going to hit another shop, so we won't have either normality by the time we reach the boss. Also, I should have observed boss's timekeeper. Um, 999 gold is basically get all the relics in the rest of the shops in the game. Which is, of course, fairly attractive. We might also get a card removal event or something before we hit this point. If I don't go this way. Maybe that extra shop, though, is attractive, even at the cost of fighting the Burning Elite. Let's see, I forget. I have the beta art unlocked for... Yeah, so that's not a consideration. We don't need to fight the heart. Uh... It's funny, I Am War almost feels like the cowardly option. <laughs> Let's go, I Am Rich. Can it really be this easy? I like that the normalities imply that that's the normal choice when, like... Double normality is spooky. Okay, before even looking at what else is here, 
We remove the normality. Oh, Amamori, that would have been nice just mere moments ago. I think I still take it. We take Red Skull, I think. Yeah. I think we actually toss a Fear Potion to buy a Fruit Juice, which we immediately drink. Yeah, there are no percent max HP down events left. And then I guess fill that back in with a Fire Potion. Hmm. Do I want any of these cards? I did say the deck was basically complete, but... Maybe it's not basically complete. Maybe I want another multi-hit, especially with Red Skull. I don't think that's compelling enough. I might want Shrug or another Metallicize. Although, Metallicize against the 4x attacks does nothing unless you play it in phase two, if that makes any sense. Uh, I'll just take Shrug, though. Climbing Tesseract. I don't want to give up health for this, but what's our possible choice of color list cards? It says Exhaust on it. This also says Exhaust on it. Do I want random cards or random attacks out of my draw pile? I think I prefer random cards. Oh man, do I go this way? I think I do. War paint's pretty solid. Remove the other normality. Another master of strategy? Barricade? No, barricade's not any good for us. Uh, letter opener. Huh, if I get like all the relics here, I'm not actually gonna have enough for all the relics in the last shop. Frozen Eye is pretty interesting, but I don't know how much it helps our build specifically. I'd probably really love it on, um... Oh, what's their name? The Watcher. Although Scry lets you look at the top, sort of, anyway. Vaguely, sort of. Well, we're not the Watcher at the moment, so... Let's not think too hard about that one. Three skills. How often am I actually gonna play three skills? How many skills are in this deck? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Yeah, let's get letter opener. But then I think pass on the rest of this stuff. Hmm, unless maybe second master of strategy. <laughs> I guess if I was gonna get another master of strategy, I should have probably bought war paint afterwards instead of buying it immediately. I just saw the upgrades, and I was like, ooh, upgrades. I think if I didn't have Velvet Choker, I would, like, not be thinking hard about this. I'd be like, ooh, Master of Strategy, when we have a lot of gold. <laughs> but I think I'll pass here. Oh, it's the Snake Lady. Well, it was a good run. <laughs> I exaggerate, but... Okay, I would've liked to find a real AoE. Like Whirlwind. I can still draw cards. It's burning packed away the... Headbutt? Oh, I could've done... I wish I could cancel here. I could've done Thunderclap, Headbutt, Burning Pact, Thunderclap. I guess... I can still do something similar with Shrug, Headbutt, Thunderclap. I'm just gonna purge a bite here. Hmm, Warcry is gonna be better than Shrug, I think. Yeah, Headbutt the boss, put Thunderclap back on top of the deck. Look at my cards remaining. So I guess it doesn't matter if I Shrug or Warcry. I'm just gonna shrug to draw the card. 
Alright, that was, I think, the first time Velvet Choker prevented anything. Okay, we can't feed on a knife, because they're minions. Open up. Uh, let's see. Cleave. Feed there isn't even a kill. Although if I true grit the bite, it will be. Because of Charon's Ashes. If I true grit though, I have enough block anyway. I haven't drawn the Whirlwind yet. So that might, that might just eliminate all our enemies anyway. I think I'd still want to true grit the bite. It's just a matter of if I kill the knife or go for damage on the boss. I think I go for damage. Ooh, that's a lot of incoming damage. Um, power through is a lot of block. Let's see, I can play the rest of this hand. I think I want the strength. Sword Boomerang has a good chance of hitting that, but I'll play the bite after the Sword Boomerang, just in case it doesn't land over there. Do I bash the boss first? I think so. I might Fire Potion this guy. I also have the option to exhaust these wounds with this Elixir. I might be able to find a better use for Elixir later, but also my potion slots are full. Let's just do this. Which also just kills this guy with true AoE. So it'll avoid distracting my Sword Boomerang. Alright. Taking a lot of damage, but I think that was a good turn. 34, huh? Well, I think this turn I play all the cards. Let's see, Flame Potion won't make a difference. Alright, Whirlwind! We got it! Now we can win the battle. <laughs> Alright, Ancient Tea Set. A little interesting. Might as well take the Emerald Key. I think I do not want either of these cards. Alright, so that hurt a little, but we did it for a shop. Now we go up this way. Oh right, I also gave up campfire for that, I just realized. I wasn't even thinking of that campfire. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna fight the heart. Mm. And yeah, let's just dodge an elite, go up this way. Oh, these guys. Oh... Uh... Whirlwind for six isn't good enough. We just end up taking a bunch of damage. Uh, although, wait. What about... Hemokinesis, Whirlwind for five. Fire Potion. Oh, we didn't get a potion from the Burning Elite. I thought Elites, like, almost always gave potions, but I guess... Either the almost came into play, or I am simply incorrect. Let's see. If I don't go with that line, how much can I block if I'm not going to kill any enemies? I can block for eight. And I can also disarm. So I think this kind of play avoids enough damage to be worth it. Also, makes the rest of the fight pretty simple. Well, hopefully. Let's see, uppercut. Oh, yeah. Bite, bite kills. Oh, I should have done bite, uppercut, bite. I could have restored two more health. Pummel plus. With the boots, and Charon's Ashes, and a Feel No Pain. A 
nib. Fine. Relic? I almost called it a card. Alright. Well, I think on this turn I... Oh wait, Burning Pact is here. Am I gonna play Jax this battle? I don't think so. Yeah, I was about to say that I thought it was a play all the cards sort of turn. But it turns out it's a draw all the cards sort of turn. Oh right, that gives him a ton of defense with Malleable. Or not defense, but, you know. Alright, Master Strategy doesn't draw anything because I already played the thing that makes you not draw anymore, Battle Trance. Hitting him isn't gonna do much. I could try to roll his attack once, but I'm just gonna defend, I think. Because, yeah, if I whirlwind for two, we do hit him, so reactive activates, changing the intent. We do have Amamori, so we don't have to be scared of the Parasite. He's just not going to be able to curse us. Is 9x3 one of his bigger attacks, is mostly what I'm thinking about. And would I rather just defend and take what's there? Let's see. With Metallicize, I'll have 14 block, so I'd take 13. And deal 9 because of bronze skills. Versus having 9 block against an unknown attack. Let's see, I think Distilled Chaos also is going to get blocked by Velvet Choker. So... It would be one random card off the top. I'll just play the Defend. Oh, hey, we got Red Skull active. Strategy. Alright, let's hit him with that. 28. I could just Impervious. I could True Grit the Cleave, because AoE is not going to be very good this battle, and it just sneaks in 3 damage. Only attacks cause his reactive to activate, not other sources of damage. See, is there something I'd want to headbutt? Oh, Pummel. I'm kind of sad I didn't get to play it last turn. Alright. We're fine with that, but we have power through in hand. I'd rather get in more damage. Uh, would I rather hit him one more time or just leave it at me taking zero? I'm pretty cool with taking no damage. Oh, we deactivated a red skull, though, because of the lifesteal. Alright. I would rather you didn't hit for 38. Okay, that's fine. But maybe... maybe I don't want to waste all that energy. Okay, that's also fine. The status effects are a little annoying, but... We have full block. Let's just burn off some of our status effects and get in our 7 damage. Alright. Since when has he had an attack for that much damage? Oh, it's because I'm vulnerable. Right. Yeah, would you like to do anything else? That's still a lot of damage. Okay, 19 plus he's giving himself block. We have pen nib set up as well. Let's, see. Let's burning pact, exhaust this, get some feel no pain block. Defend plus sender's bane plus metallicize is... I think that's enough. Um... Uh, yes. All right. Can I set up the feed? I think... Let's see, that's not a kill. 
It'll use up pen nib. See how much damage do I need to do? Um, 44. This will only be 10 damage after pen nib's used up. But that... Oh, I didn't calculate malleable. Oops. Uh, we still have him. Alright. Hey, fruit juice. Just drink that immediately. I think there's... Sometimes there are reasons to hold on to it. But I don't think late Act 3 there are any reasons left. I guess if something deals percent max HP, current HP damage to you, you might still prefer to have the potion in a slot rather than in your actual hit points. Uh, with hemokinesis and just the fact that I've been taking damage, blood for blood might be good. Alright. Do I just rest at this campfire? What would I upgrade? I guess I can still hit the smith button, because there's a cancel button. Bit late to upgrade feed. Flame bearer would be solid. Yeah, let's upgrade flame barrier. We can rest before the boss if we need a rest, and upgrading flame barrier might actually save hit points. Or we'll just buy Lee's waffle here. Darn. <laughs> um Dreamcatcher is one random card from a selection of two. Hand drill. Does the awakened? Oh wait, no, this isn't the awakened one. Why do I keep thinking it's the awakened one? I don't know if I've said that out loud, but I keep thinking it's the awakened one. Hand drill. The boss does apply a block to itself. <laughs> Bird-faced urn could be a bit of healing. Evolve. The boss does put slime in our deck. And we just got bird-faced urn. Let's see, alternative plays, card removal, block potion. We could still evolve card remove. Or evolve block potion. Oh, we can't buy Fiend Fire anymore. I should have thought a little harder before doing whatever I already did. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have passed up on Bird Faced Urn. Just gone like Fiend Fire Evolve Card Remove. What would I remove, though? Maybe there's not enough of the run left for the bites to all be relevant? Let's see, Disarm is going to be fantastic. Definitely don't remove that. Maybe the basic defense are just a little unexciting now. Oh. Evolve versus block potion. I might get a potion in here. Uh, would I rather immediately go to the boss or get a question mark and a campfire? <laughs> I think I'd rather get a question mark and a campfire. Oh, the question mark was a fight. I prefer that a little less. See, I'm not gonna play Evolve this battle, so it's a clear exhaust target. Wait, what do I want on top? That's what this choice is. I think we don't need Hemokinesis this turn. Actually, no. We'll make him vulnerable for one energy next turn, probably. Let's see, pummels a lot of damage. Bite lets us get some health back. I have the option to exhaust some of these cards. So, True Grit can exhaust one of my choice. That isn't True Grit. Impervious can exhaust itself. I think I will just get Impervious out of here. Alright. 
Spending a couple of our possible plays just to draw cards is sometimes not what you want. Okay, I can just play Blood for Blood for full price. Do I have a better play? This only deals 12. I was just looking at if I could get Disarm or Feel No Pain down. I don't think I can. Should have played Hemokinesis last turn, so Blood for Blood would be cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do that. Oh, maybe it should have been like Bash, and was there another attack? Maybe there's a reason I didn't do that. Okay, this might be painful. Wait, what was the first card I played? This is just Metallicize. I should have probably just Whirlwinded for five. Oh, Bite is more efficient than Whirlwind. Because it also heals me for two. Let's see, Feed is also more efficient than Whirlwind. Especially with the Exhaust. Oh, and that set up Pen Nib. Alright, so we take zero again, but these are only getting harder and we're not really scaling. I guess we did play Jax, so actually we scaled a little. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can just look at the battle with the button. So he has as many turns of weakened and uh, vulnerable as he does turns of fading. So we don't need to get uppercut back. So let's see, I guess the Sword Boomerang might be the best choice. Bite to get some health back. Shrug, see what we draw. Alright, we have enough block. Playing True Grit just for fun. You know, get rid of that Ascender's Bane like it wasn't going to be gotten rid of anyway. Alright, I think we healed on that battle. Another True Grip Plus. The Plus has my attention. Alright, do I value 16 health or 1 upgrade? I think I will prefer the health. I think if I was going to Act 4, I would just take the upgrade. Alright. So I guess let's get Evolve down. Oh yeah, because of Ancient T set, we can just play Blood for Blood. We can play our whole hand. And then I guess still distilled chaos to play one extra card. Or do we distilled chaos for two random cards? Give up the safe five block for potential more block. Did that? It only actually played. Oh yeah, I wanted to play two cards, right? That's what happened. Two cards got played. I'm taking a bunch of damage. But also that was, what, turn one I did 125 or something? Well setting up a uh, something? Evolve? Alright, Finite Flame Barrier Plus is quite good here. Get Feel No Pain set up. I'd like to play my maximum of six cards. I can play two more cards. I'd prefer to battle trance and see what options open up to me. Is there anything I want to headbutt? Uh, Blood for Blood is pretty solid. Jax is pretty solid. Flame Barrier wouldn't be bad if he's attacking. Uppercut is uppercut. The statuses are going to be off. I think I'll headbutt back the uppercut for next turn. Alright. 
Cut preventing a lot of damage. Shrug preventing some damage. Let's see. If I hit him with feed... Okay, there's the phase change. Or whatever you want to call it. He's gonna heal next round. So let's see. I f Does he clear statuses when he heals too? We definitely play the Metallicize. Do I play the Bite? It's It advances his thing, but it also gives us two health. And I think he is gonna clear status effects. So Thunderclap is worthless. I think having my counter on six instead of five is a lot better. I guess I should have looked at what was left in the deck. I don't- I can't play six cards next turn. Unless Burning Pack draws into something cheap. Maybe I want my counter on seven, then. Oh, I should also play Entropic Brew to see what I get. I got Entropic Brew back. Sick. So next turn, we'll play Fear Potion and Tropic Brew. I think I'll just move my counter, though. Okay. There's, like, almost no reason not to Fear Potion. Weak Potion. This arm is good. Hmm. Would I rather have three cards next turn or just play cards? I think I'd just play cards. Do I have Burning Pack to power through? Yeah, because I want to definitely have an attack I can play. Oh yeah, I'd already looked at the top of the deck. Wait a minute. Oh, I can play the attack potion for the rollover, right. I was like, wait a minute, I can still only not play enough cards. Let's deal a little extra damage rather than going for the health. Uh, this is gonna be pen nibbed. We have three strength. Alright, nice. Yeah, I just want to try to leave him at good amounts of um, time warp. Let's see. We get almost as much block by exhausting a defend as playing it. Alright. Looks like we're strongly favored to win without even activating Red Skull. I'm gonna exhaust the True Grit, so I can do more things that deal damage. Alright, yeah, there's definitely a win here, right? I don't think I even need the Jax, just Headbutt, Thunderclap. Doesn't matter what I Headbutt back. All right! You ready your blade and deal a bunch of damage, because that's what happens in the ending. <laughs> I got a lot of money. It's almost like I had a golden idol and then didn't run into the event that lets you exchange it. Variant Collector. What card did I collect? Oh, Bite. <laughs> of course. Which boss did I perfect? Was it the first boss? I guess I can look at the run history before we go on break. Alright. Oh okay, yeah, the Collector hurt a lot, the Guardian hurt a little. Wait. Does it still count as a perfect if you... 
heal with burning blood? Or wait, did I perfect a boss or did I perfect an elite? I didn't... I'm not confident I read the description of the thing properly, and you get points for either. So maybe that was it. Oh yeah, I actually healed a lot off of the transient, but then I still rested. Upgraded Jax. I wonder how often you actually see that in a run. <laughs> Especially as a campfire, and not like as... War paint. Anyway. That's it for this run, clearly. I'm gonna split the stream and also go on break. Or rather, I'm splitting the recording. The stream's gonna keep going. Well, I'm on break. But, uh, yeah. See ya!